jeopardy. You come into our sport, think it's gonna be easy. But you're in for a real wake-up call. If you ask me, I think he's going to do big things here. Look out, Superman punch! And that shovel's an equalizer. Spear! Spear! This is gonna be one for the ages. We are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 252 pounds. The WWE Champion, King D, the future. This individual was considered someone to watch when he arrived in Houston for training with Booker T and was applauded for his work ethic at the Performance Center. The cachet of being well-known on the independents vanishes the moment you enter WWE. I give him this. He's been putting in the work. Here's a man, The Miz, who is one of the most accomplished stars in the history of WWE. Just one of the many reasons why he is the A-lister. And his opponent. The Red Brand's rolling out the red carpet tonight as the current WWE Champion has invited none other than The Miz to Monday Night Raw to square off one-on-one. -on -one. It's a heck of a gambit, Michael, using The Miz to provoke one of WWE's greatest champions of all time, John Cena. And it's a gambit that could easily blow up in the WWE Champion's face. Oh, the stomp in every single part of his body. Absolutely brutal. Ruthless. The stomp in every single part of his body. Ah, oh, foot just stomping down. Quick exchange of counters there. Fighting back against Miz. A oh, mounting. And hammering away. You can see the dismay on the face of the Miz. Not an A-list performance here from Miz. Enough already. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Miz escapes damage. Counter after counter. Flipping senton. Uh-oh, we're gonna see it. The most electrifying move in all of entertainment. The people's elbow. Yeah, but we're not talking about The Rock. Oh, look out, Miz. Miz doesn't know where he is. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up this. and driven down with a jackhammer. All he has to do is capitalize. Oh, finally, monumental victory. Here is your winner, King D, the future. That was an impressive match all around. And here is our winner. I'll hang my hat on a win of that caliber any day of the week. This is one to be proud of.
So this whole Cena thing, hate to say I told you so, but you know what? I don't hate it at all. I told you so. I know how it looks from your perspective, but I promise it's going to work. I just need more time. And besides, I never said this would be easy. Fine. But if you don't get at least some kind of acknowledgement soon from Cena, then I'm pulling the plug. What's your next move? Spotlighting a major loss didn't seem to work, so I'm going to go in the other direction. Oh yeah, I actually got wind of your idea for this already. Trying to replicate Cena's first WWE Championship win by beating JBL? Don't think it's going to matter, but I'll make it happen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 252 pounds. The WWE Champion, King D, the future. This former indie competitor developed a cult fan following in the United States as videos of his matches started to get talked about. Thanks to social media, those fans are still with him as he builds the foundation of his career. A Hall of Famer and our former broadcast colleague, guys. A wrestling god. And his opponent from Dallas, Texas, weighing in at 290 pounds, JBL. Now here's JBL, a Triple Crown champion. He's held the WWE title, Intercontinental title, and U.S. title. He's a member of the WWE Hall of Fame and a bona fide wrestling god. Hey guys, have I ever told you that JBL is a really good friend of mine? That's a lie, Byron. One of the best brawlers in WWE history. Hey, Corey, you think JBL will pay the medical facility bills for his opposition tonight? Fresh off a big win against The Miz, the WWE Champion will try to get John Cena's attention one more time tonight against one of Cena's former WrestleMania foes, JBL. JBL is a Hall of Famer that can still go in the ring and has a Hall of Fame voice to boot. Give that butt kiss and a rest, Saxton. I'm just stating facts, Corey. Neckbreaker! Had him where he wanted him, but maybe he has something better planned. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. Uh-oh, this is going to be nasty. There's the power into the... Driven down with a jackhammer. Will that be the deciding factor? Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, King D. The future. This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the costs against the benefits. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers.
Oh, there was a potential opening with Cena, and you blew it. I don't think it's over. Are you crazy? He turned you down and then you insulted him? We can forget about a match. He probably won't even come back for a simple appearance now. So thanks for that. I'm telling you, I think I struck a nerve with him. And a man like that is too proud to just let that go. Let me do one more thing to get his attention, and if this doesn't work, then I'll move on. You've already tried one more thing two or three times. He's gonna respect the fact that I won't give up. And then you'll get your star power and your ratings boost that you want so bad. Ugh, what do you want to do? I want The Undertaker. What? Let me explain. Cena was in the exact same position I'm in with The Undertaker a few years ago at WrestleMania. He was so desperate for a match he bought a ticket and sat in the audience waiting. When Undertaker eventually did appear, Cena lost in five minutes. I remember all that. What's your point? I want to send Cena a final message by doing what he couldn't do at WrestleMania. I want to defeat The Undertaker. That's really pushing it, but I think I can make it happen. And if Cena sticks to his word and never answers your challenge, then at least I'll get the ratings boost I was looking for with The Undertaker. And if Cena does change his mind, then even better. All right. Looks like you got yourself a match against the Phenom. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 252 pounds, the WWE Champion, King D, the future. I have to give this guy props. He was told he'd never leave the shows in the school gyms and community centers, that he was, quote, good for his hometown. Uh, he risked everything in his life to get here. He had no plan B. It was make it to WWE or nothing. Look who's here, the Phenom has arrived. And demise awaits anyone who stands across the ring from the dead man. The Reaper walks among us. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, the Undertaker. You are looking at dominance without equal. Power from another dimension. One of the most prolific strikers in WWE history. A man who knows absolutely no fear. And the thing about The Undertaker is the attitude. The fact that he knows he's an incredible warrior, that he will do anything and everything he needs to to win a competitor who has survived the toughest battles wwe has ever witnessed
surreal moment here tonight. An awe-inspiring, truly frightening sight. The Undertaker's opponent better get ready. He's about to meet his maker. The WWE Champion has been on a roll, but tonight the champ will have to take his game to an entirely new level as he takes on the incomparable WWE legend, The Undertaker. It's the WWE Champion versus the Dead Man on Raw. This is huge! I have a feeling that even John Cena is going to be taking a break from his busy Hollywood schedule to watch this one. That's certainly the champion's plan. Let's see if it works. X. Expected that one. Hits him with the counter. Boom! Reverse STO. He has him right where he wants him. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up this. and... Jackhammer! Ref, get ready to raise his hand. Two! A monumental victory tonight for the WWE Champion over the Phenom himself. The Undertaker. You never want to overlook an accomplishment like that, but I think the champion still has other things on his mind. John Cena, over the past few weeks, I've done everything I can to prove to you that I'm worthy of a match, that I'm worthy of your time. I mean, I just beat The Undertaker which is something you couldn't do. So you know what? Maybe, maybe I've been looking at this the wrong way. Maybe it's not about proving that I'm worthy of your time. Maybe you're not worth mine. I have to agree with the WWE Champion here. It's time to move on from this whole John Cena thing. Wait a second. It's John Cena! The face of WWE has come home! I can't believe it. After weeks of unanswered challenges, and then Cena himself saying it wasn't going to happen, the WWE Champion has gotten John Cena to return to Monday Night Raw. And there you have it. Cena is back for one thing, the WWE Championship. Hey, this is a matchup that no one thought we'd ever see. And now it looks like it's happening. This is going to be one for the ages. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands.
The champ has never looked more focused, laser focused on the task at hand. Here comes the 16-time world champion. Uh, not just the 16-time world champion, a Hollywood phenomenon and a man who embodies the meaning of superstar. I say it all the time, and I mean it. The greatest of all time, John Cena, 16-time world champion. There is always a special buzz in the air when John Cena enters the arena. I believe the most polarizing superstar in WWE history. Hustle, loyalty, and respect. A mantra he lives by. Arguably the biggest star in WWE history and, well, on his way to becoming the biggest star, perhaps in Hollywood, too. Introducing the challenge by Mr. McMahon as the West Newberry, babe Ruth of WWE. There is nothing John Cena pounds. has not accomplished John in sports Cena. entertainment. Michael, it's got to feel like yesterday for you when you saw John Cena win his first WWE Championship and introducing the champion JBL from at Chicago, WrestleMania 21. Illinois, that was back in, in 2005. You call me old? Pounds. No, I'm just saying you're a story. He's the WWE Champion, King D, the future. To hold one of the biggest titles in WWE means you're one of the best in the industry. Weeks of grueling battles have all led the WWE Champion to this moment. A chance to etch his name into the WWE history books against the one and only John Cena. Talk about box office. Two of the biggest draws in sports entertainment are fighting for the right to call themselves the true face of WWE. You want to talk faces? The WWE Champion finally got his wish. A chance to carve his mug right up there onto WWE's Mount Rushmore. Just like that, Cena gets intercepted. It's a no good driver. Marshall. Counters. And Cena's able to evade. Yes, press. The colossal clutch putting that strain on. The official asking him, is he going to tap? Is he going to tap out? He's trying to hold on, but for how long? Slipped right underneath, and just like that, he's out of the hold. Cena warded him off. Punch lands. A counter. Uh-oh, this is going to be nasty. There's the power into the... Saw that coming. Counter after counter. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Uh-oh, this is going to be nasty. There's the power into the jackhammer. A championship-level move. 
got the shoulder up. It was almost just lights out on their championship dreams. Let's see if that kick out was a... Uh-oh, we're going to see it. The most electrifying move in all of entertainment. The people's elbow. Yeah, but we're not talking about The Rock. Another Fight one it. bites the dust to the champ. Got it. And the champ adds to their legacy. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE Champion King, D, the future. He really wanted this one bad. Yeah, what a major win for him here. Cena lost. <laughs> Mr. Never Give Up should have quit before the match even started. The following contest is a last man standing match and is for the WWE Championship. Corey, what do you think of the champ's chances here tonight? I love them. I'm not like everybody else, Cole. It seems like everybody's ready to write the champ's demise, but not me. The champ facing perhaps his biggest challenge yet. Now, can he rise to meet the challenge? It's John Cena! Since 2003, I don't know if any other superstar has defined WWE in the same way as John Cena. Yeah, a man who's been defined by his passion, a man who's been defined by his work ethic, and a man who has been defined by Hall of Fame success here in WWE.
the greatest of all time, John Cena, set for action here tonight. Byron, you should strive to be more like John Cena. I do. John Cena is a man who's always practiced what he preached. He embodies never give up and hustle, loyalty, respect. Even the his challenge. detractors have to From admit Cena's dedication. He never gives Playing anything less than his very best. Pounds. From where I'm sitting, he is the greatest WWE superstar in history. Cena is a superstar in every sense of the word. In fact, and he was referred to by Mr. McMahon as the Chicago. Babe Ruth of WWE. Now, Cena's a guy who achieved success beyond anybody's wildest imagination. Welcome to what should be one of the most brutal championship matches we've ever seen. Between the defending WWE champion and one of the most decorated superstars in WWE history, John Cena, as they face off in a last man standing match. That means that one of these two extraordinary athletes will need to keep the other down for a full 10 count to walk out of here tonight with the title. It's hard enough keeping Cena down for a three count, let alone 10. Let's see if the WWE Champion has what it takes to pull it off. Cena dodges out of that. And just like that, he said crashing to the floor. Headed to the top now. From the top, the leader of the C Nation was trying to make a big splash with that, but there was no water in the pool. And that cut Cena right off. Quick exchange of counters there. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Vicious right forearm. What a punch. He's one step ahead there. Vicious kicks to the gut. Flipping Santon. A mounting. And hammering away. Setting it up. Boom. With the reversal. Ooh, he got all of the knee. Oh, the reversal by Cena. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. He deflects it right back. Pedigree. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Count gets to seven. This is close. He stands up and stops the ref's count. You can't keep him down. And finds a counter. Boom. Head first. He's piling up the damage now. This is sadistic. And stopping the referee's count? That was silly. Either that or it was deliberate. Perhaps looking to make a statement. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Time to flip it. Carefully measured knee strikes. Oh, stomping. Ouch. Cena telegraphed that. Ah, uh, face first off the post. He moved, but can he capitalize? And he'll come back from under the apron. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Spear! Man, Shattering. Uh oh, we're gonna see it. The most electrifying move in all of entertainment. 
And that one misses the mark. Kick gets caught. And responds with a counter of their own. Cena is looking absolutely powerless. Bear! He's got him in the crosshairs. Uh-oh, this is going to be nasty. There's the power into the... Driven down with a jackhammer. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up this and... And Cena finds himself on the receiving... And the tap out isn't going to do anything. This is just torturous now. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. This isn't the smartest thing to do, antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. And there's seven. It's getting close. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time. And the champ stands tall once again. Saving us from having to sit through that. still, the WWE Champion King, D, the future cementing their name after that match. Definitely earning those accolades with that win. Cena lost. <laughs> Mr. Never Give Up should have quit before the match even started.